coat of paint on the fuselage is done. I got the vertical stabilizer one more time and it is much, much more um, shiny, uh, reflective, lustrous, whatever you want to say. And uh, yeah, you can see the fuselage is now starting to shine up. Um, I'm going to put one heavy coat on uh, next and uh, that should do it. So it uh, doesn't use that much paint thankfully. It's a lot less than one of the wings obviously square footage wise, but, but it's, uh, it's coming along. And then after this, uh, bleed the brakes. I got the, um, the gear legs painted. So we'll connect the, the uh, brake lines up. They're pretty much already connected except for the, um, for the, the, uh, the brakes on the wheels. And then from there we'll bleed them. And uh, after that I'll take it around the block. No joke, I'll take this thing around the block just to kind of uh, see how, how the, the uh, brakes do and how it, how it steers and, um, and all that and, and show it off of course, gotta show it off. And, uh, and then I'll be ready for um, putting the stripe on, nose cone, pedostatic, or pedo system, wings, registration. Oh yeah! Can't wait. Uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, redo the pedo tube so I think some of the previous videos I made um, I was gonna put it in the side and it was just too hard it was too hard to secure the pedo tube in the tube without it um, just going all over the place so um, and what I mean by that is in here behind the rudder pedals um, in the very back, it's hard to see back there, but you can see the mounting bracket further back behind the pedal, the left pedal. And the that's where I had the pedo tube mounted. Um, and I tried to, and you can actually see the tube coming out of here, right? So that was just a mess, it wasn't working. So uh, unfortunately the hole that I made in the side of the pedo, of the uh, nose cone um, was there. And so I drilled it and I thought, okay, that's gonna be a good place for the pedo tube. Uh, which isn't really an ideal place for it. So what I did is I just patched it. Um, I just I put I put a little bit of uh, stuff in here to to patch it. Um, so uh, to be honest, I just used spackle. So I put some duct tape on the side and spackled it. I know that seems kind of weird, but it works. So um, in fact, you can't even see the duct tape because it's so far down where the the edge of the um, uh, battery bracket was so um, anyway, it's there. I'm gonna paint it I'll, I've got to repaint the nose cone in a lot of ways uh, to at least touch up a lot of areas uh, That that got a little scratched up and I'll do that after I you know see where the Lexan windshields gonna go. I mean overall it looks okay There's a just a little bit of paint missing and I'll probably I'm gonna paint over these paint them white Over those screws and those washers and on the side as well um but it's it's secure it's on there and uh, yeah just trying to look up designs for stripes and uh, 
Yeah, I have to put the windshield on. I'll put the uh, that windshield goes on, I guess, after the wings go on, and then I'll put the um, you know fiberglass pieces up top. <laughs> Got the radio set up, installed. Put a bolt through this bolt right here, through the bottom, and then into the to this um, bracket down here. And then it's got a, a little gooseneck flexible top up to uh, up to the um, Yesu holder or clip. I had to modify a little bit. Had to cut into it because this clip was for um, an older Yesu clip, and so I had to kind of make it a little bit wider. But it's in there good. Um, there's a little bit of vibration, so I might have to add another bracket later. I'll see how bad that goes, but that'll probably vibrate pretty good. Um, but again, just as long as I can get to a few frequencies, I'm good. And uh, and I can always hold it and then type it in like that. Um, but it's on this side, which I like better because, um, you know, you can take your hand off the throttle and then just, you know, type in something. And then down here is the uh, interphone. So I just, I just put, it's in there good. And it's connected now to my, uh, to my radio and it's just uh, yeah just zip tied but uh, I can do forward and back seats like I was saying push to talk switch is installed so it runs this one runs off a 9 volt 9 volt battery so just so I can clip it put it back on when I'm done and um, yeah it'll run like 40 hours off that and then I've got the uh, you know this just unscrews on the back it's got one of those ball type connectors and so I can just pull that off change the double uh, A batteries there and uh, this the aircraft is getting ready to be moved to the hangar. Um, so July 1st. So this the, at the time of this video, it's uh, June 25th. But uh, July 1st, I will uh, have the hangar from my buddy Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Appreciate you. And uh, so, and that this will get moved. Wings will go on. Hopefully on Saturday. This Saturday, I'll get the rest of the jury struts done, and uh, then I'll be able to. Um, um, Get the windshield put on as well I still have to do that and I've got to order the tail number and the uh, get the registration stuff going here but should be uh, flying soon even if the, if it's not painted with the stripe I priced up at aero um, aerographics.com which is a great site that's where I'm gonna get my tail numbers but the downside is is uh, it was like $465 and they they did one it was a nice graphic but it was like from the front all the way down here and I really only wanted it like 51 inches or something like that the width right here but instead they, they put it all the way down the tail and I didn't really want that so um, I'm, I'm assuming if I priced it up it would still be you know two or three hundred bucks so I'm, I'm just gonna go with the stripe I just I'm gonna wait until I really know what I want to do like I was mentioning in other videos but anyway, uh, thanks for sticking with me. I'm nearing the end of this thing. I just want to get it to, to the uh, to the hangar. And I think I did a video on this, putting these things on. So I did this side. I just need to do the other side. It's in position. I just have to cut it to fit. Today I'm working on the uh, wings. So excited! Today is the wing day. Um, hi Nugget. There's my cat. Hi Nugs. Say hello. His name's Nugget. Hi, you want to go inside? Um, so, working on the uh, main lift strut brackets on the long drawn tube. Uh, that's the position there. That one's pretty straightforward, just goes right through and back there. But this one, I have to do the cotter pin there for that one. But this one kind of pushes against the fabric, and you'll see it in a lot of the pictures on the CD, just the way it's going to go. Um, my stripe's going to be above that, so it shouldn't be a problem. See where the blue is? I'm putting the, just just kind of doing a, just a quick rough draft here. I haven't tapped that down or anything, but uh, it's not going to be blue. It's going to be red, but that's the top of the painter's tape there. Stating the obvious. And then, um, lift strut brackets here. What I had to do on this one is I had to um, mark with the with a sharpie where because this comes at an angle where it's going to touch the fabric and then use the um, um, the soldering iron to poke a hole so just make sure it's you know going to be in the right spot you don't poke a hole where you don't want it so these two are going on oh I didn't poke my hole there it's kind of funny I thought I had done that so yeah I'll find it poke it okay. 
like it's uh I don't know if I'll find it wherever it is on the other side right back here so yeah get that going and then I'll move my cars out and pull it out put the wings on put the main lift struts on hopefully today and um, in talking to Tom had a great conversation with Tom again guys I want to just say get an Excalibur Tom's uh, this is the little commercial here Tom is is amazing I mean he does answer the phone all the time he's sick of probably hearing from me no I'm kidding he's not he's not sick he, he tells me all the time I'm not sick of hearing from you there was a stretch there where I probably talked to him every day just just because it was fun you know uh, I talked to him probably every day for three weeks or something like that just to kind of pick his brain on things and thinking ahead um, so yeah he's he's a great guy he's there he's, he offers awesome support and you're uh, you, you just he's building the plane with you and that's so true so um, and I can help too you know just uh, leave me a comment on my on the YouTube channel here or or um, you know try to get in touch with me and I will help out but um, anyway so um, doing that today and then I'm hoping to get the jury struts put on or at least if I could get the jury struts done today, it'd be awesome the wings are done I can take the wings off and now it's just ready for the final coat of paint the fiberglass pieces on top and the windshield I know I've been saying that for a while but I went back to work in June it's June now uh, as of this video so um, back to work and have a little bit less time to work on it I can connect up the ELT connect up the antenna for the ADSB and uh, the transponder on the bottom. Actually, I could do the transponder bottom now in the uh, coaxial cable for that. You can see the hole for that down here. Um, that, that thing's already burned and ready to go. You can see the floor through there. So, I'll get that antenna installed. I can actually do that today, too. Just little things. And, um, of course, the big thing being certification. Uh, once everything's done and numbers on, I'm just going to get those from uh, Home Depot. But you can get them from Sporties. You can get them from, you know, any place I'll actually put together your... your uh, the word experimental and your end number. So mine is 727 Golf November for my name, and uh, 727 is kind of my favorite number combinations. So thanks for sticking with me through all these videos. I hope they've been helpful.